All right, so back to Across the Obelisk, and today we're going for a darkness build. Very excited about the prospect. I think that we have we have some interesting folks. We have Navalia. Navali? Not not exactly sure how her name is pronounced. Not my strong suit. Uh, we have uh, we have Maluka, and now we have Zach to play with. So what I'm thinking about, my my theory for getting started on this one is we go for a darkness tank. We also go for a darkness healer. We go for a darkness mage. And then what I'm thinking is, is we use Gustav for his uh, his speed fixing capabilities. Oh yeah? You think you think this order is more uh, more advantageous? That's that's an interesting theory. Uh, so let's see. So I think largely you remain the same. Although I'm excited that we have more perk points to spend. Uh, but I don't think I don't think we care about the sharpness build that we had going on on Gustav. I'm not sure exactly what else we index into. Uh, maybe. Maybe we think about some stealth, potentially. So let's uh, let's let's reset this and and try again. So let's see. So you're you're gonna be doing some healing. So we'll go we'll go healing skills as like a as a secondary. You know I don't think there's any darkness in the uh, in the scout tree, or or if there is there it is very minimal. I also don't know if there's a lot of block, but we might get some for, like we might get some deflects, for instance. I think that could be a solid, a solid pickup here. Speed is kind of like our most important stat. Stealth doesn't really work here because dark doesn't. I, I mean, I was thinking more. I guess we're we're really going for the one shot. So I think you're you're probably right. Let's see. So then, for stanza, we can have plus one to mind damage or. <clears throat> Excuse me. Stanza on heroes increases all damage instead of just mind damage. That's what we took historically. But we were not really applying stanza to anyone else. We get a bit more draw out of it or can't gain stanza 3. We like stanza 3, so I think we do go with that one. Then we can get the next tier of speed. We can get the next tier of energy. We can get fast. We can get more, 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 more speed. Uh, and then we momentarily peter out here. Uh, regen is very important for us. Making enemies pop from... So what scales the pop from the dark explosion? Like, because it's it seems like it gets bigger based on... the Is it the hero who does the popping? Is that the... Is that the thing? I guess we want we want all the healing, and then so regeneration on this hero also heals heals the heroes at their side is is interesting. It increases healing or increases shadow resistance. I think we I think we go for heals on either side. Minus resist on enemies and number of charges. Okay, noted. Let's see. So we need. I like I like this middle one. Not sure if it is the optimal one, but we have five left, which is feeling pretty good. We could get some bless. Do we? I feel like we do apply some bless with some of Gustav's cards. Is that correct? I don't think I care about it increasing healing received. So maybe we make it do more damage, and then. Finish off with just a bit more health. I think that's. I think this is a reasonable build. They pop at 25 charges, but if you apply more than 25 before the explosion, the overflow increases the damage and further lowers resists. So no charges are wasted. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. That. That. That makes sense. And then yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go for the standard kind of like. We, we know the build that we're doing on Gustav. I think I might be... I'm a little worried that I might be addicted to uh, to Gustav's uh, capacity for 
uh, for, for buffing speed. So over here, we're gonna go down the darkness tree and we're gonna go down the defense tree is my, is my thinking. And I, I do think I want her going slightly faster than some of the other ones, so I'm gonna pick up a little bit of speed, even though largely we are we are expecting uh, we're expecting Gustav to be carrying in that regard. Like, so I'm not gonna go deep into speed, but I think it it makes sense to have her going a little faster. Let's see, we do that. We grab more defense. Grab more of that. We want we want the energy. Now this one here. Charges that you apply. So we don't care about this. We're not gonna be applying speed. We definitely want the fortify improvement. More of this. Now now what do we have four charges here for our dark. Charges that you apply are increased. Dark on this hero apply, explodes at 38 charges. Now I've been wondering. Uh I've been wondering about this. So if different heroes have different explosion levels, how does that work? Like if I pick this up on one hero, does everyone now explode at 38? Or is it just, is just during her turn the threshold is 38? Let's see. Dark charges on enemies uh, explode at the end of turn. Dark explosions on enemies deal 35% more damage. This one seems like the one that I want to take. But maybe on her, I don't want her popping anybody since I took a bit of speed. So I'm, I kind of think maybe I go this here and then and then I grab the dark explosions on enemies deal 35% more damage on Zack. And I do extra charges on Maluka is what I'm thinking. That's not entirely sure. Oh my gosh, I didn't I didn't change things. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, I knew I was forgetting something in my pre-flight checklist. Uh, I appreciate you letting me know, Paris. Uh, sorry if you came here looking for something uh, looking for something different. Uh, the 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 glitch is fixed. Uh, although I probably should do it over here too. Give me one moment. Oh my word. There we go. All is right in the universe thanks to that. Uh, that one is only on the hero you pick it. Uh, it's good on Zek since he self applies dark every turn. Oh, okay, interesting. So, so this one here is good on Zek for that reason. I suspect we might apply some uh, some decay, so I'm not I'm not opposed to that possibility. I really I really like this middle one, but let's see. Have we taken this yet? Yeah, we have taken this. Fortify and hero can stack and increase blunt and fire damage. I might switch it to the they gain fortify on the first turn. I could see that being useful. I never really index into into that, but yeah, let's grab decay and then decay on enemies. Uh, instead of decreasing healing received by seventy five percent, cannot be dispelled. Wait, oh wait, decay on enemies instead decreases healing received by seventy five percent and cannot be dispelled unless specified. That's interesting. Oh, but Decay on Enemies reduces Shadow Resistance by 8%. That seems like it would be very good with the build that we're going for. So we'll grab that one. Then we have four left. I could I could grab a little more speed. Am I seeing anything else of, of great interest here? We could also just grab some Blunt damage, because we know that she does a bit of that. And then maybe if we untick that, we can just get that third bit of blunt. That looks decent. I'm not opposed to that. Then Maluka, I think the last time we built her, we built her for for dark. So I think we're, we're in much the same category where I think she's just going to be applying more. 
Yeah, I, I grabbed some blunt, but I, I can see it going either way. Let's see. Regeneration also heals heroes on the side. Less interested in that here. A little bit of shadow resistance could be good. Because we, we know that Zek is going to be self-applying, or, or we've learned that the hard way. Um, let's see, we don't need to go faster, so we can grab a bit of that. I, I'm going to grab Decay again here. I think, I think there's potentially something interesting to be... Oh, I'm a little shy. I think there's something interesting to going for Decay as a way to increase our our Shadow Damage. I don't know what the Decay cards are, but we'll kind of play around with it. We will experiment. We're almost getting to the point where we have, like, a full complement of perks. I think we max out at 50. But now we have Zek, who we've not even looked at yet. Hold on. Let's, let's look at his abilities. So he has Pestilence. At the start of your turn, suffer one Dark and apply one Dark to all enemies. Then we have Curse Mancy versus Soul Harvest. So Soul Harvest is next three spells. Draw one, deal cold. So this looks like it's a mostly cold focus thing. Or next three curse spells. Apply one dark to all monsters. Reduce the cost of the highest cost curse spell in your hand by one. I think I like Curse Mancy a lot. Then we have Dark Feast. At the start of your turn, for every 8 dark you have, reduce the cost of cards in your hand by 1. Oh, so we'd have to stack a lot of cur a lot of dark to make that work. Or we have Putrefaction, plus 2 dark. Dark on enemies reduces shadow resistance by 1.5. If there is a perk that says enemies, it applies also to all heroes. That decay perk, so you don't need more than 1. Oh, really? Okay, we can we can go back and switch that up then. But Putrefaction here seems very, very good. Dark Feast, I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced we're going to be stacking that much dark on ourselves. I think our build is more about dark on enemies. Put a Plague Rat into your hand. Draw one, transfer curses. Okay, so that's that's part of the... That's part of that build. This is like a frost thing, so we'll probably go infestation and have a way to get rid of our dark. And then absolute darkness plus darkness 2 again. Dark on enemies increases the damage of dark explosion by 1% per charge. Yeah, okay. So we're basically, we're mostly going down the left-hand column, it looks like. But let's, let's see. So we want, we want this hero to go the slowest of all. That's our, that's our goal. We want them going last, so we have as much time as possible to to do some setup. I don't know what I should take here. It's all I feel like the beginning is always hard because you don't have the second tier to kind of pick up. And I'm like, I kinda want none of these. Uh, we will go back and switch that up, but for now. I don't think you're going to be defending yourself much. I don't think you're going to be doing much mind damage. I guess I'll grab cold because they do have some cold spells. Oh, we're going to be reducing our dark charges. Okay, so maybe we maybe I uncheck this uncheck cold and then we we grab some grab some all resist. Okay. I can get down with that. All right, now we've now we've cracked into the good stuff, so things will things will get a little easier. So you grab that. We're not we're not interested in picking up any fast. Then over here, we can apply more dark. I, th I think we'll do this one so we don't explode. That was that was the recommendation. So we'll we'll grab that one. Now we put we put Zek in the two slot, right? Which which makes sense because I think we're gonna be doing uh, doing a lot of work there. But I'm a little hmm. I'm I'm feeling like I mean maybe we just pick up some ice just to to round out 
our our repertoire, but like I don't think we're going to be taking a lot of ice cards. So okay, so we don't need to take this. So we can take Now does this this one says enemies too. So if we take this one and this one, yeah, what we'll do is we'll go back and we'll put more decay charges on uh, on our tank, I think. I guess we get all of those. And we can finish, well, we're at zero, okay. That looks pretty good. So let's see, so we can go back to... Now, Zek has so much resistance, I guess we still put him in two. So you, for perks, we're gonna, we're gonna switch this out and we're gonna do you apply more decay. Confirm that. Okay, so I think, I think we're good. I think we've done what we need to do. Gustav's all set and is, is, we're gonna get him as speedy as possible to increase everybody else's speed. And then Zek is just gonna Zek is hopefully just gonna go hard and it'll be very interesting to see how this all this all works. Let's uh let's do the thing. Zek has a lot of base hit points, I'm realizing. Do we really I feel like this order is smarter. Cause Zek has a ton of hit points because we took so much of this. Was there was there a strong reason you were advocating for Maluka in the two spot before I before I lock us in? Okay, I index into health, so yeah, cool. Why? Also, this is a weird question, but why is there a? Oh, it's pick a random die. I was like, why is there a five over everybody's head? But let's uh, let's rock and roll. This is our plan, and let's uh, let's see how we do. And we got through that part of it in only uh, on only 17 minutes, so clearly I'm doing something right. Now we also have to figure out if we're going to be able to unlock anyone. I know we have Sylvie and Bree to unlock, so very curious if anyone has any recommendations on how to go about doing that. We will cash in our our chest and get rich. Leather boots for Gustav seems like an easy pickup. We'll, we'll come back to that in a second because we have, let's see, we have a lot of cards that we're going to need to figure out. So I want to see what are, what are the dark cards that you can do? Is there any like, there's dark blow, which looks pretty nice. Uh, if you want Sylvie, you need a bottom path to get her. F Bree is free pathing. Okay. So if we only get one, that's fine. We still have Wilbur in our hip pocket. So let's see. So I'm, I'm mainly... So I'm, I'm liking Pestilence here. That looks... Pestilence looks quite good. For, for me. On this one. Like, I think I'm probably going to buy Pestilence on everyone. What do the, the upgraded versions of Pestilence look like? It's jump three or jump three. Yeah, Pestilence. Pestilence looks really good. Um, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to decide. Like, I, I think on on her. Like, we want we want a balance of blue and red cards because we're gonna go we're gonna go for the you alternate between them type of thing. Which means that we like. We like Dark Blow just because it's one of the few warrior cards that it, that gives darkness. Oh, we're already we're already super indexed into Dark Blows though, so we don't need to buy any. So let's uh, let's buy the Pestilences. I think we're gonna end up buying them on pretty much everyone. Now over here, X equals your discard pile. I mean, I think I think we want Pestilences on on everyone. So. 
I think I'm just going to grab those. Now, you had a slightly different version, right? Where yours is Dark Outbreak. It's more expensive, but we still like it. Now, Gustav, we have we have major, major changes, uh, major changes to make here because we need kind of like we're doing like a one of everything build with him, if I recall correctly. We, we're not interested in the chant of accuracy anymore. I guess maybe rather than putting that, do I want to do song here? Is that the better way to get it? Try to look for cards with Scourge on on Nava. Uh, it will make Darkness easier to stack. What, what the heck is Scourge? So it's only, cur only Curse of Torment has it. And what does Scourge do? Damage received from Dark Explosions plus 10% per charge. Ooh, so that sounds quite good. We're probably going to want that on everybody. It's very expensive, though. Um... We'll, we'll come back to that. I think I probably will get it, but... Uh, Ode of War still seems like a really good pickup. So we, we like that one. We might like two of those, because I don't know... We definitely want a Song of Quickness. We definitely want a Vitalizing... Which one? We want, we want a Vitalizing Serenade. We already have a Song of Celerity, right? No, we don't. We want... We want a Song of Celerity. Right, yeah, in terms of card choices. I gotcha. I think we take a second Ode of War, just because I, I don't think we're going to have a lot of other options. Unfortunately, this is Mind, not Darkness. So yeah, I'm going to grab a second Ode of War. I'll grab a Ballad of Evasion. Do we want a Sweet Melody? Yeah, we probably do actually want... I think we want two Sweet Melodies, because I think I'm going to be gutting this deck pretty aggressively. And, and having the Dispel with the Heal will be really good. Uh, okay, so we got that. Then back to looking at dark cards here. Vile Lance was surprisingly good for us last time. Where X equals their darkness. Yin Yang Bolt seems like it's probably pretty insane. I kind of feel like we pick that up as like a big nuke. Unholy Storm. Let me take a look. Yep, that's a lot of darkness. We'll, we'll pick up one of those. You need fanaticism to support it. Wait, I know I see, saw it. So suffer a bunch of stuff, gain an energy, and gain an energy next turn. This seems this seems easy to, to work around. We'll grab two of those. Like, I'm not worried about self-damage because we get so much healing passively off of her. Then over here, we'll pick up the Curse of Torment because we've talked about the, the value of that. And then... We don't care about Poison Synergy. We may or may not care about those Curses of Exhaustion. It looks like Shadow Bolts are kind of like our weak card. Like, like Pestilence is like Shadow Bolt, but so much better. Curse of Shadows is pretty weak, too. Now, Curse of Shadows is a lot of dark. Curse of Decay is good to pick up later in the game. Oh, yeah, we did say we wanted some of that. Do we have... 
We could pick stuff up on our tank since I think we're gonna have some we're gonna have some space here. We also we wanna make sure that we get barricade and entrench. Cause we, we are gonna be doing some some defending on our tank, is my is my expectation. Like we're not always gonna be one rounding everything. So we'll pick those up. Okay, let me let me trim down decks now and we'll we'll see what things look like. Cause like for instance, I think the shivs are extremely unimportant. Same with the the chance of accurate the chance of accuracy, but like also actually like I think we have to we have to remove a lot more cards to get this deck looking ship shape. Like we haven't even gotten rid of all of those. All right, so we could we could do with three more better cards for Gustav to to round things out. Chant of accuracy isn't bad, but it's really not doing much good for us. We don't have a chant of initiative yet. Those are pretty decent. Yep. That's I was I was on that I was on that uh, that track for sure. And then and then we want to get rid of one more whispering lies. I, I think a second song of celerity makes us more reliable. So I'll grab that. Yeah. This looks this looks decent. Now over here setup I so I I didn't love the way that played last time which is not to say that that that's uh you know that I'm I'm totally not sold on it but but the that that combo wasn't wasn't blowing the doors off for me vitalize we get rid of oops we're not in the removal place but I don't think we need shadow men's I don't think they're important to to what we're doing. Among other things, we we got into a, a state last time we ran this where the uh, the the shadow mend was lethal. We we killed someone with our shadow mend. So we have shadow bolts, and then we have curse of shadows. I think we ditch the shadow bolts. I it it just. So like so the thing is is like I, I think part of it is I will probably grow to love draw control more as I start to push madness after we get things unlocked. But like right now in its current form, it feels like I spend a bunch of time at the beginning of of turns doing like kind of needless draw when I could just be steamrolling a little bit harder. Um, but yeah, let's let's get rid of the shadow bolts. They have slightly more upfront damage, but I think we're we're, we have other things that we're going for, like darkness explosions. And then these curses of fragility. Yeah, I don't mind those. Mana shield we can get rid of. I don't think those are... We'd rather draw our barricades anyways. Then we have all these dark blows. The punches, the punches are free and just become targeted. Oh, yeah, wait, what's the... What's the thing that we like more than punch? Uh, bluff? Yeah, let's let's grab a bluff because we like this. It's basically a free card and it becomes free free in the future once we upgrade it, which we can probably do. We have a decent amount of stuff. But then over here, I think we just kind of want to like take a haircut on nearly everything. Like I don't think we need four dark blows. So maybe we drop one Dark Blow, one Curse of Fragility as a start. Curse of Torment, we're hanging on to. The Pestilences we like. Then I think I'm gonna I'm gonna drop the punches. Cause I, I know they're free, but like this is not this is not her job. All right, we dropped almost all the punches. Now for upgrades, we can upgrade this to be free. So it's just 
just a little bonus goodness. I think I'm very excited about Pestilence. I think... Repeat this card's effect on another target X times each damage and heal done gets the bonus. So we really like that it's applying more dark. We don't really care that it's doing a lot more damage. So I think we like the blue Pestilence. And then Dark Outbreak. It stays at two jumps, so I don't think we're I don't think we're losing our mind over that. Now over here. Where's where's our, our songs of celerity? So we can just upgrade it to be in our hand. That's what we want. We want one in our hand, we don't care where the other one is. These being free is interesting. I think we're okay with them costing something and being able to use them multiple times. Now this gives stanza to another person. Ode to War is self without upgrades. Oh, is it? Oh, I didn't even notice that. That's We don't like that very much. <laughs> uh... We have so many sweet melodies, we probably want some of them to get removed. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two of them remove themselves. Actually, I mean, yeah, let's let's even go three of them remove, and we'll hang on to one of them just in case we need some dispel. Then, does, how does fanaticism improve? Ooh. That's a lot of damage, but I think we're doing a ton of healing. So I think we can actually... I think we can we can get by with that. We might have wanted to give Maluka a bit more health, but we'll look for we'll look for some armor that helps out with that. Then same with you on the pestilence. Let's get those upgraded. I'm trying to think. Any other we should get our barricades upgraded before I go too crazy. Slashing, piercing, and blunt, I'm not. If it was all resistances, I think I'd be more interested. Dark rituals are interesting. Yep, blue otherwise. That makes a lot of sense to me. Let's see. These dark up these these are a little expensive. We can get those upgraded later. Like, I think we're going to be very okay initially here. But Dark Pacts we probably want to get rid of. Because I'm don't. i not going like the, the full Curse Yourself build. So let's just get... Let's get the other one of these upgraded. And then... Do these upgrade? These go up to seven. We could do that, but let's let's just save the rest. Now let's do let's do gear because we're gonna have we're gonna have a lot of gear to collect here, hopefully. Gustav grabs that. A fishing pole isn't bad. It would have to go on nav. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how much I care. Let's let's come up with a pets plan. We still just have the three pets. Love to start getting some additional pets going. But now I think Gustav gets the bunny, so we make sure that he's always going first. I think that makes sense. Nav is going to be our our most tanky. So this, you know, if we get like thorns hits or things like that, that will be good. And then I'm going to give Maluka the Stormy. All right. Someday we'll get Wolfie. Who knows how. Now, I think this looks like a roll to me. I don't think we really care for any of these. The shoulder plates upgraded are kind of interesting. And I, I don't think the fishing rod is that important. Those are not exactly the damage types we're looking for.
It requires two lock, two runs to unlock Wolfie. That that does seem tricky. Oh, Wolfie is a DLC exclusive. Did it say that on that page? Across the Obelisk Wolf of War DLC. It does. All right. Noted. Thank you, Mero. Let's see. Now, songs are not skills. Is that correct? Yeah, so we actually don't have any skills. We could we could toss some deflects into Gustav's deck. That might not be the worst idea in the world. That Then we could utilize proficient a little more effectively if we wanted to. But I think I want to roll again. Let's see if we can if we can get some more interesting stuff. Ooh, Boots of Swiftness. I hate that I'm about to overwrite something that we just picked up, but getting Gustav to go first is a big is a big difference maker. And the Boots of Swiftness get really good. So I will We have we have some money to burn, so I'm not feeling too bad about that. Then the Ruby Amulet, like, I think we put that on Maluka just because she's light on... She's light on health, and I don't I don't like her being at, like, 68. That's a little spicy. None of this is, like, blowing my socks off. Merchant Badge is almost always a good pickup early if you have a spot for it, and we do kind of have a spot for it, at least initially. So we'll grab that, and then... 15 HP, and eventually you get some speed out of it. Gustav has the Boots of Speed, which we like more. This is Mind Spells. So far, no darkness showing up to uh, to make our lives better. Gain two Powerful. That seems pretty good on Zach. As as like a an intermediate, it's super duper cheap. We could grab the Morning Star for damage on Nav, but I don't know. I don't know that it matters too terribly much. The mix salad. One of the things is bad, or no? They're all good. I'll probably save some money, so I probably won't go too much more. We could grab some resistance to dark on Zek, but we have we lose the powerful we just picked up. Yeah, okay. We may we may largely save. I will grab the amulet of speed though. That's a good that's a good pickup. Now Maluka can pick up the silver chalice because I think. Does it affect her her ability? I guess we'll we'll grab it and we'll grab it and see. I, maybe the ten percent healing does, but the plus two doesn't. But I'll grab that there. All right, and we'll save we'll save the rest for uh, for rare shops and those types of things. We are at fifteen cards across the board. There was at least one upgrade that I was like, ah, I mean, if we have the money, we should probably be upgrading. And now I've forgotten what those things were. Mm, Ying Yang Bolt eventually, but I don't think now. Probably be getting rid of that. Oh, Dark Blow is, is front. Let's make this targetable. Oh, but wait, we can also get Scourge. But it's Scourge on the front monster. I don't think that's worth it. Maybe it is. Maybe we can just still blow up the front mo monster and do like a ton of work. It's free to switch them between. So let's just let's just grab them and we'll start out with them being front monster and we'll see. But let's uh let's get rocking and rolling. Uh violent violence at cost one. Uh, I didn't know that actually got cheaper, but yeah, that would be a, that would be a good one. We'll uh, we'll look out for the ability to do that moving forward. Now, so if we want to, if we want to get uh, what's her face, the the ranger, you said we have to go. Is it bottom path in the forest, or uh, or when do we need to do that before I before I progress any further? So let's see. We have the lost sheep rare event. We have the bandit patrol here. We have honest work up here. Northern Plains up here. So I don't I don't have anything that I'm looking for. We didn't pick up the fishing pole, so the fishing contest is 
not of interest. I think Lost Sheep is how you get Betty. Ah, uh, so we need to we need to come down here for the uh for the forest glade event. Is that the is that the deal? So we could we could do that by like coming down. We could do Lost Sheep into Crossroad, into River Bridges, that come down here to Forest Glade, and then that. Okay, that looks good to me. For Sylvie? Cool. Let's let's do that. I, I want to uh, I want to keep unlocking folks. Oh, I think I could have done uh I could have still gone to the other place. That was that was a bit of an error. But let's see. So I can have Oh, this is all heroes still. I guess we'll we'll save. We don't really need to dispel anything. Now, if we kill things before the dark pops, that's pretty un that's pretty suboptimal, right? So we need to think about that. Another Curse of Agony. I don't think we need that. Nor this. Nor those. Nor those. Yeah, so we should have gone to the caravan, because we could have done the shop version of the caravan. I always forget about that. Let's see. Confront the sheep and then return Betty to her owner. Sure. I feel like this is exactly what we drew last time. <laughs> I feel like we drew exactly the same hand as we did last time. Um, clearly, clearly I'm paranoid or something. Oh, I love, I love the healing. The, uh, the healing is spectacular. And I think this is this is a win no matter what I do. Hard to hard to misplay that one. But these early fights, they're not uh they're not indicative of what is to come. Interesting picking up a rain up there. I don't think that's interesting. Curse of exhaustion. No, we already have a bunch of those. No on those, no on those. Alright. Oh, so if we want to return Betty, we have to come up here. We can't and we need to make it to the Forest Glade circle. Okay, so that was that was not something that we could cuz yeah, cuz if we go up here and up here, then we go here. The most down we can get is missing the Forest Glade circle. Okay. Well, say la vie. Yeah, we'll come we'll come down this way. But I'll still do, uh, of these two fights, I'll do the, the double farmer fight. And then we'll do the bandit patrol event. Upwind. It makes them faster. We get a free hero card upgrade. That's pretty good. Yeah, we'll do that. We, we may not be fast enough. Gustav does get to go first, which is good. All right, that was that was a lot of speed fixing. I'm pretty pretty pleased with how that all turned out. Now let's see. Vengeance is equals your HP. So you have scourge, which means that when you explode, you explode for extra. It's, I guess in the future, we're going to have an easier time getting people to explode, maybe.
but we're having we're certainly having no problem working our way through people. Necrotic burst. X equals your discard pile. Kind of an interesting card, but I don't I don't think so. Holy ripples a no, and those are a no. All right. Okay, so we're gonna get some some high cost upgrades potentially here. Get Curse of Torment upgrade looks pretty good. I don't care about overcasting it. It's probably good to be able to use it multiple times. So we don't have anything more expensive to upgrade here. Then we already got we already got that upgraded. So it looks like Curse of Torment again. Might make this one go away. I don't. I don't think we. I think we want to thin that deck out a bit more. Uh, Ying Yang Bolt is going to be our upgrade here. Yeah, we'll just we'll just go with the three cost, and then Ballad of Evasion. I want it to be stanza two, so we'll do this and get the card draw off of it. Okay, good. That was that was a big payday for sure. Now let's uh, let's do the Bandit Patrol. Uh, no mercy. We can try to avoid them, follow them to their camp, ambush them, and loot the camp. That does seem like a higher probability chance of getting some goodness, but is their camp on the path to where we want to go? Or are we going to end up... I think it is. So we'll try the ambush. Hopefully, hopefully this doesn't lock us into a path that we don't want to go down, but we'll go for it. Okay, we get some goodies, including but not limited to a corruption on some gloves, which is nice. A club for you, which is nice. You already have a ring. You don't have a chess piece, so you can take that. And you don't want any of these. The Jingle Bell. Increase your resistance, reduce the cost of the highest song spell in your hand by one until discarded every three turns. The Jingle Bell is not great, but the Surprise Box is also not great. And the Opal Ring... Ooh, the Opal Ring, actually, is is interesting. Maybe... I Actually, I think... Okay, I take it back. I think the Opal Ring, in case we get the upgrade, goes there. Gloves can go there, for sure. Chest Armor can go there. And then the, there's still nothing on Gustav, but the Opal Ring could be could be nice to get upgraded there. And it doesn't look like it uh, it painted us in, so we can go down south here. We will we will offer to help. All right. Increase the quality and quantity of card rewards. Each hero will remove two cards. We haven't really picked up any cards, so we're not really interested in thinning. Okay, everybody go faster. You go that. All done. We, we didn't quite fix her... Now, what is this? Equals your discard pile. Wow, that's really nice. Even if our discard pile is almost empty, that's pretty darn nice. Okay, we we fell a little short on this guy, but maybe Maluka can still do the uh, do the thing. It's gonna be close. I don't I don't think she quite gets there. All right. Feel like feel like a bit of a failure there, but it's not the end of the world that we're going to we're going to round two here. Let's see, we should have we should have Maluka go first if we can, which we can't. I was gonna say just to just to get some healing, but I think it's uh. It's all over. No, no point in uh, in getting too fancy with it. So, 
Skull Splitter is interesting, but not. Uh, Curse of Vulnerability. I think that's just too expensive. Yeah, it's not it's not doing a lot of dark work for us. Not interested in those. Sweet Melody, we already have plenty of. Detection, no. Yeah. None of those either. All right. Down we go. Armageddon, but Navila gets an a corrupted overpower. I mean, it's kind of a cool card, but it's very expensive. And there's there's a version that makes it cheaper. This the overpower doesn't seem worth it. Increase the quality and quantity of card rewards at the end of combat. We could do this. Um, I think we're going to go, we're going to try and one round it. So we're definitely going to take some damage here, like 30 damage. Maybe we don't need this. Eh, we'll, we'll risk it. We'll roll the dice. We probably don't die. <laughs> we're hoping to kill them all before, uh before they get a chance to go at all, so. Oh, I thought, I thought Maluka would have gone first. I, I think I messed that up, unfortunately. Let's see, I think. If we gain one, we don't we don't really get any extra value there. Oh, it's equals to our hand size, so we should have done that a little earlier. Okay, Zach, do your do your darndest here. This is not the uh, this is not the draw that we wanted to see but we got it anyways. All right, Armageddon was unimpactful. No to these. Don't need more black karmas, I don't think. I mean, are there other cards in this deck that I would prefer, like... Like, the bad auguries are gonna go away, but I don't think we pick up a black karma just for them. That doesn't seem... Doesn't seem worth, and then I don't think we need another uh, Curse of Vulnerability. So. All right, down we go. Okay, the Moon Ritual. You discover a forest glade, and here you can see some uh, menhirs placed in a peculiar way, forming a circle. Inside the circle, there is an altar of some kind at which an elder dryad is performing a strange ritual. On the altar are some pieces of gold and shiny white stone that seem to channel the moonlight. The dryad has not yet realized you are close, but it will surely protect the moonstones at all cost. Okay, so if we want Sylvie, do we need to... We want to combat? Okay. Because it seems like she's like a, you know, creature of the forest. We'll, we'll do combat. We get a bit more XP, I think, for that. Oh, she was fast. Wow. Okay. Touche. Should play this one first. Everyone's everyone's already going, so I think we're I think we're fine here. Ooh, that was big numbers. Okay. That is our first time killing the Elder Dryad. I guess that's obvious since we don't have Sylvie. Uh, Curse of Agony? Probably not. Curse of Elements, unfortunately, not having Dark on it, I think kind of kills it. What are the... Discover three books. Why doesn't it show me the list of books down here? It's frustrating. I don't think I don't think it's what we need. 
Vile gas? Probably not. But I would, I would kind of assume that it would show us the list. I think we pick up a deflect. I think there's no reason not to. It'll help us thinning our deck and making ourselves more consistent. Okay, level ups here. So Shadow Imbuement seems like it's clearly the one. Yes, it is clearly the one. Now over here, we liked Curse Mancy. Apply one to all monsters, reduce the cost of the highest curse spell. Yep. We, we like Yin Ritual for, for that sweet, sweet healing. And we like Melodic Rhythm. Yeah, heavy metal, heavy metal doesn't do it for us. All right, looks good. And then grab the moonstone and gold and quickly leave. Wait for a bit for the moonstone to set to pick up the moonstone. I think we, I think we go for the second option without knowing exactly what it is, but it seems like the gold is a trap to keep you away from the moonstone being, uh, being mature. But I'll, uh, I'll confirm that before I press forward. Either is fine, but wait is better. All right. Wait it is. Okay. We unlock the Dryad Mask. Certainly not seeing... Oh, wow. The Forest Crown for Gustav. Combat start to speed. And fast is... Fast is better than, than flat speed. Right? Oh, and all heroes gain speed if we upgrade it. I don't know how you upgrade something like that, though. Nobody took the club last time. What does Moonfire do? Okay, not really that interesting. Now, the Garnet Ring, with the plus one charges on upgrade, is also interesting for Gustav. But I... I kind of feel like the Forest Crown is better than the Emerald Necklace, even upgraded. So let's grab it on Gustav. Oh, you can get a copy on Elmer. Okay. When you die, retain more money. Don't really care. Does anyone have an empty slot? What what's empty slots are we working with? We got one jewelry. So let's slap this here for lack of a better option. We can get the club here, although it's kind of unimpactful. And then, yeah, I think we're just good. All right. Upward and onward. Ooh, oh, the moonstone does something to him. That's cool. Uh, party will gain access to an upgrade altar, or party will heal for 30%. I mean, we could just do this for score. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. When you okay, so when you play a card, yeah, so we do this. Okay. I think we'll we'll get we'll get the healing back here, so But Zek's going to have his work cut out for him. I think he'll do okay here, though. I think he'll do okay. There we go. The Moonstone option is nice, but it takes away the Moonstone if you use it. Okay, so we won't use it because we need it for Sylvie, right? Is that is that my understanding? don't think we care about any of those or any of these. Vexing crescendo. I do like I do like jump spells, but okay. 
Scavenge. Pick one card from your discard pile, put it in your hand. Kind of interesting. I don't think we need it. All right, and we will not pick the Moonstone option. We will not ambush. Hide in the forest to start the fight with stealth. We don't care. We're just going to fight. We're just going to fight. Huge, huge first turn. Love that. Okay, I don't I don't know if we're if we're one shot in this guy, but we'll uh we'll try our darndest. Let's see. Ordered what's the order here? These dark rituals. They're, these dark rituals are too slow. I don't think we I don't think we like them. I think Maluka will probably be able to do the work. Oh, these are targeted though. So we can do that. Because she's going to heal. She's going to heal him up. So her having 10 energy presumably helps. Uh-oh. We drew all our fanaticisms. This is not good. <laughs> Uh-oh. All right. I was hoping for a better turn there. Is that fanaticism needs some uh, needs some draw associated with it, if you ask me. Should have played that first. Probably should have dealt with the darkness there as well. Maluka not getting to go is a little annoying, but either way, it's over. We could have gotten a bit of healing, but we get healing at the end of this anyways. Um, drain life is a little interesting, but I don't think so. Darkness falls. All monsters. I mean, how can I not take this? 32 damage, 2 scourge, and 10? Seems insane. Energy and energized. That's a good point. Yep. Tedious poem is big numbers, but I think I'm taking this Darkness Falls. It looks pretty sick. It's expensive, but I think it's uh, it's going to be interesting. Okay, so no, no, uh, no Forest Crown upgrade. That's okay. We do get the Ruby Amulet upgrade. Which is pretty cool. We could go for the root, but I think honestly the badge is probably better. She's uh, Maluk isn't playing any healing spells, so we don't really care for that. Plus one to block charges. We could upgrade this to. We could upgrade this just to the shield. It doesn't seem bad. We can give you the frozen orb. It's not really, not really what we're looking for, but it's probably better than the nothing that we'd be doing otherwise. And then when you play a healing spell, do our... These all count as song spells. So, so we're not going to get the... We're not going to get the extra regen, but we get the healing. So I guess it's okay. So we still have the Lost Sheep quest. I'm worried that's not going to do us much good. So we haven't been through the yellow portal in a while. I don't know where dark items come from. <laughs> where do they come from? How do they work? I would say it's as likely here as anywhere else. Like, blue is certainly... 
Yellow portal? All right, yellow it is. I, I was thinking it could also be with blue because ice and dark are often coupled, but this will be fun. This is our first time going here without... Uh... We're headed to the desert. And arriving in the desert...